Heidi Ho, Stampers Deb Velder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm going to show you how to do this ornament card that is done with the Christmas Bauble stamp set. This is the stamp, it's not a set, it's actually just one single stamp, and it's just the Christmas Bauble. It's a wood-mounted stamp, and it's in our 2014 holiday catalog. So let me just show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to bling it up. I'm going to show you how to bling it down. But no matter what you do with it, it will be reproducible so that you can take and make many, many, many of these for your Christmas cards. Okay? So this one is done on a piece of uh, Knight of Navy cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11, and I scored it at five and a half. Then this piece right here, this silver foil sheet, is um, four and three quarters by three and a half. And then this one is three and a quarter. This whisper white is three and a quarter by four and a half. So um, that those are our measurements. They'll be on my blog. You can go over there and check on them. Now the next thing that we need to do, or what I did, and I did a bunch of it ahead of time so that you um, didn't have to sit through all of it. Um, I took my Versamark ink and I inked it up. I inked up this stamp with the Versamark ink. And then I added my, for this one I added silver embossing powder, and I'm going to show you this one right here. This one I did with my, um, with my smoky slate embossing powder, and they're both just gorgeous. This one you could add a bow to it if you wanted to, either up here, down here, somewhere. Um, but you can, like I said, you can bling it up or you can bling it down. I'll come back to that one in just a little while. But this one was um, embossed with silver embossing powder. So again, I used my Versamark, I used my ink, and then I used my silver embossing powder. And then I just heated it with my heat tool, and I got to this point right here. Um, then I just added my saying and did the same thing. I, I added this, and I used my um, silver embossing powder, same thing. Now what I did, I'm going to show you how to do the um, blend abilities, because that's what I colored these with. This one I colored with my Knight of Navy, and then this one is what I did with the green and the red. So I'm just going to show you. Do you see how much detail is in there? So let me just show you how I did that. With the red, let's start with the red, and I'm going to take my three blend abilities. I took the red, and um, I colored these in with the light one. And I call this the three-thirds, two-thirds, one-third method. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my, um, my medium one, and I'm going to color in just two-thirds of this, so that my one-third is still showing. So you see how I still have one-third of this showing? That's the light and the medium. Now with my dark, I'm going to take and I'm going to use the little end right here. So I'm going to just take and put a little bit, just at one third, okay? Just one third, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my light one. You're going to take that dark one and you're just going to blend it in. You see? What I'm doing with the light one, I'm actually re-wetting these two, so that you don't see these nasty little lines, okay? And that's why they call them blendabilities. It actually ends up um, blending into the color before it. With alcohol markers, the alcohol is actually picking up the ink and blending it into the next color. So here I'm taking the dark and just blending it in. And when you're done, you have something that looks like it's 3D. Now when that dries, you're going to see three different colors. Let's just do a little bit on the leaves and I'll show you what I mean. So what I did was, I took my lightest color right here and I just colored in the leaf. And before I did this, I took my color lifter and I just lifted, or I just colored in the entire thing with my color lifter. And then I added my light color. I'm going to go to my medium color next and just do um, two-thirds of it, okay, just a little bit. And then I'm going to go to my dark and I'm going to do my one-third. So I remember this is the three-thirds, two-thirds, one-third method. And I'm just going to take and outline this little piece just like this, okay, a little bit on the bottom here because the berries are giving it kind of a little bit, bit of a shadow. Now remember I'm going back to my lighter color and I'm going to take those lines and I'm just going to blend them in. Okay, And then when this dries, you're going to see how it has three different colors to it. While that's drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made um, the rest of the card. 
So what I did was I took my blend abilities and I colored in all of um, the little details that I wanted to. This one right here, I added some rhinestone, or not rhinestones, but pearls, and I colored them with my blend abilities. But what you want to know when you're coloring your rhinestones or your pearls or whatever is to make sure that you use the skinny end, not the fat end. The fat end will uh, start to fray. But if you use the skinny end and just be very careful and, and go very slowly, it'll color your rhinestones or your rhinestones or your pearls for you. Okay? So that's what I did on this card. So I I added some bling here and here, but on this one I could take and I could just color in those little guys right there um, just to make it, you know, look a little bit better and then um, to give it more, more color. And then I took my pearl and I colored it in. I'm going to use a red one, so I'm going to take my scissors and lift up my little pearl that I colored with the, with the darkest of the um, blend abilities. And this is the cherry cobbler, okay, because that's going to match my, whoops, that's going to match my, uh, my my uh, berries up there, okay? So I added my little pearl to it, and then what I did was I just took a straight edge, and you can have anything as a straight edge, and um, I took, so I'm just going to use this that I, that I have real close. I'm going to take this and use it as a straight edge, and I'm just going to make a little string on it. So I'm just going to take and I like to line it up right with that, and then just take and make my straight line, and that looks like the string that makes it hang from the um, from the ornament. You see, the, it hangs on the ornament. So that's what I did there, and then you can add it to your card. I'm not going to go through and, and color everything, um, but I'm going to just add it to my card, and then to pick up the red, you can take either a red bow, okay, or I'll show you real quick how to make a fork bow with the Knight of Navy seam binding ribbon. So I'm going to just take my seam binding. I'm going to go over six. For this one, I'm just going to do it six. You, you can decide what size you want, but I'm going to go over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to leave a little bit of string right here. And remember, there are um, this is a double fork bow, and there are directions on my YouTube um, site for that and also my blog. So I'm going to go over three because that's half. I'm going to weave it in, and I'm going to weave it out at the six. And then I'm going to weave it in again and out at the... Um, so I'm going to go in and out and in and out. So now I'm right back to where I started from. I need to cut off the ribbon, and you want to give yourself enough so that you can finish this by going over this ribbon to lock it in. And you're going to take and pull it on the back, bring it up through the middle, and lay it down. Now this is where I take and I make it as tight as I can, and I like to do this. When you're using a pick, these things move up here. So I like to do this down at the bottom as much as I can, and I just take and I, I pull it as tight as I can, because once this is off here, if you don't have it as tight as you want it, you can't adjust it. You cannot adjust it, like um, your, your shoes. You have to just make sure it's all done. Check it before you pull it off. That's nice and tight, and then you're just going to take and slide it off, pull these two little apart, just like that, puff it up, and then we're just going to trim these little guys off like that, and you're going to add it to the top of your card. And that's all there is to this. I'll finish coloring this and adding it to my blog to show you the different um, the different things that I did with it. But that's the basics of using this. Um, and it's like I said, it's a very simple, elegant card, um, and you can reproduce lots and lots of these. Here is the one that I finished in all blue, okay, because blue is my favorite color. And then here's the one I did in just the cherry cobbler. Okay, I hope you liked my post. Hop on over to my blog. If you have any questions, just let me know. Take care and have a great day.